Hey guys, Andrew here, bringing you another DM Plays deck from the new set. I'm sure this is not a big surprise, but Dead Phoenix is the new hot trend. After receiving a few small changes to what he was back in the TCG, so 4 mana Vortex Evolution, but instead of requiring a Firebird and Zombie Dragon, you just need a Firebird and any Dragon, so making this a lot easier to summon. 9k double breaker and Bormedius effect when you break shields, and also the when it leaves the battle zone you can discard your opponent's hand, uh, they all remain the same as back, he wa uh, back as he was in the TCG. But the one additional effect is that if you have a Firebird and Dragon on the field, you can actually retrieve the Phoenix from the graveyard. Quite fitting for a Phoenix really. But this effect makes him uh, getting him out a lot more consistent alongside a few awesome new additions that they've also introduced in the new set. The first of which is Bullshack Buddy Dragon, a 4 mana armor dragon, one of the cheapest dragons around. You search your deck for a firebird and add it to your hand. You can obviously see what they were going with when they printed this card. So what firebirds are there you may ask? Well now there's Puppy Rappy, a 2 mana firebird, search a deck for a phoenix and put it on the top of your deck. So finally some search for your phoenix cards. These two cards also well, uh, work well in combo, as you can imagine with 6 mana you can play out Bookshack Buddy Dragon, search for your Puppy Rappy and then Vortex Evolution uh, the next turn. This makes, out, this makes getting dead phoenix out extremely consistent. And because of this consistency, I thought what would be a better fit for Death Phoenix in, in your traditional rub control. Of course, with a DMP twist. The other Firebird I'm playing is Zack Zavol. 4 mana, 4k Slayer. You may discard a card and draw a card, but we are really playing him for his brace. So he's both a Firebird and Zombie Dragon. And also a funny interaction with Death Phoenix's new graveyard retrieval effect. It's just by having him out on the field, he counts as both races. So the Death Phoenix retrieval effect actually works. One other card that's worth uh, pointing out is Miraculous Plague. Same effect as in the TCG, but they've actually nerfed it by one mana. But it's still good. This just really makes me want to make a Miraculous Plague focus deck in the TCG. Hope you guys enjoy the deck, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, well, looks like we've got both of our new cards here. we got Boshak Buddy Dragon, who searches a Firebird, and also Puppy Rappy, who searches a Phoenix. Quite the engine that we have going here. It looks like my opponent's playing some sort of aggressive deck. Oh, speaking of Death Phoenix. There he is, but we probably don't need him right now. And with the uh, Bullshack and Firebird combo that we have in our hand, we can easily search out a Death Phoenix if we want to. Now my opponent is playing some sort of aggressive deck, and this deck you know, does have a few tools to deal with aggro, such as your burst shots and cards like Volcano Charger here. I think I'll go ahead and play out my Pappy Rappy here. And the cool thing about Pappy Rappy is that you don't have to search for your Death Phoenix. You can um, choose not to. And in this case, since remember, when you do charge Death Phoenix, it goes in tapped. Um, and that's not exactly nice uh, in this following situation. Oh, here's also Miraculous Plague. But I do need to charge a non multi sub card this turn so that I can play out my Volcano Charger. I'm going to charge a Curves off quite nicely off of Burst Shot to turn off that as well. Alright, so that's a, that's a new Rickaboo. A Firebird Rickaboo. Oh, no need for Burst Shot. He breaks into one. Okay, alright, I think um, I've had enough burst shots now. <laughs> but with 6 mana, you can play out Bullshack Buddy Dragon, 
search out your Pepperappy, but in this case I'll, I'll play out the uh, Zack Zilva. Um, and I'll just show you guys the uh, Death Phoenix Retrieval effect if I can. Oh, he plays Gatcha. Quite a odd choice. Ah, uh, that card's pretty interesting. Do you know how aggressive decks... You know, people don't really break into aggressive decks that often. Um, especially since what you can do as control decks is build up a board and then finish your opponent off in one turn. Um, but what that card does is you get to retrieve a shield to your hand. So it's kind of acting as the sort of synthetic card draw, really. Ah, nice, water mana. So now I can play out my Miraculous Plague. And he's going to be reduced all the way down to 3 mana. That's the thing with Miraculous Plague. Um, get it off, the effect is just... It's like plus, what, plus 2 at least? And even then... Um, like, you just set your opponent back just by so much. The Volcano Charge is quite nice. I think you're playing the Zag Zolva here, but... I think it's better off next turn, because I don't really need any another creature at the moment. It plays out that thing, that 1 mana 2k. I think that 1 mana 2k, it checks you have any other creatures, and if you don't, it dies. Now all of these cards are pretty good here. I really want to play Zack Zolva, so I'll play it in this card for a shot. Because I can kill the um, Fire Break Ball anyway. Ah, that's a nice top deck. It's a perfect mana as well. I'm not too scared at the moment since I still have two shields. He has to get through my blockers as well now. This is a really good situation here. You have to be careful about trigs, especially with that new Firebird trig. Um, you know, play around trigs as much as you can, but sometimes you just can't. Alright, see what he does. Another Rickaboo Firebird. No, oh, he breaks. Well, let's block it. The cool thing about Nickel Dragon's of Val is that he doesn't die when he blocks. Not like all the other darkness blockers that we have. The Volcano Charger. Ah, so now that he doesn't have any other creatures on the field, that dies. Ah, perfect. So now, search out our Phoenix. And then some Death Phoenix action next time. So this is <laughs> what a control deck can do to you. You just don't break any shields until you find your Bobedius's or, or Death Phoenix's. And your opponent just... Uh, they can't do anything. <laughs> I don't know why he hasn't surrendered yet. There's probably absolutely no chance that he can win. Here's Death Phoenix for the first time. Probably for the hundredth time by now. Because everywhere in the ladder. Although not this particular variant, this is a the Gauntlet special version of this deck. Once in a lifetime. For our lovely subscribers. <laughs> oh, here's another one. <laughs> Let's play play out both of them. And we'll call it there.